Hello everyone, my name is Jazz Urog, I'm the Research Software Engineer for Cybers UK and I am from the Earlham Institute. In this video, I will give you a tour of the Cybers Discovery Environment. The Discover Environment is a simple web interface for managing, sharing, and visualizing your data. You can also run your analysis using a large number of apps that are available. All these can be shared with your team or the community conveniently. If you haven't done this already, the first thing to do is sign up for an account with the Cybers region of your choice. Please refer to the links on the instructions so you can sign up accordingly. If you already have an account, you can now log in to the Discover environment using your credentials or any of these linked accounts that you use to sign up. Now that you are in the Discover environment, let's go over some of the major menu items. After logging in, you would see this web interface right here with different menu options at the left hand side. The options are quite intuitive, but let's go over each one so you can familiarize. In the home menu, you can see a bunch of options from instant environment launches to all the available apps. You can also see some of the latest news and updates for the discovery environment. The next option is the data menu where you can search for data and select folders to view. On the drop down list, you can select your own folder or any of the shared folders to your account. Similarly, you can find apps and tools on the apps and tools menu. These are software tools that you can run using the computing resources of Cybers without needing to install it on your local computer. The analysis menu is where you can see the results and status of your runs and analysis using the apps from the discovery environment. Here in the teams menu, you can see all the public teams and you can also create your own public or private team as long as each of your team member has a Cybers account. Another important part of the interface is the navigation bar. In this example, I use the keyword wheat to search the, the entire discovery environment for all related data, apps, analysis, and teams. Also part of the navigation bar are options to chat with cyber support, an add to cart options for your downloads, and notification and profile settings. Lastly, I would like to show you how you can create new folders for organization and to keep your data and results tidy. Going back to the data menu option, you can easily select the create folder option currently at the upper right hand side of the interface, highlighted in red in these slides. You can organize and name these folders accordingly. But for the exercise, we would like you to create a folder named tutorial underscore folder in your home folder. And if you may want, you can create other folders like raw data folder, results, or analysis folder. Now that you know how to navigate on the Discover environment, the next steps will be how to download and upload your data to set them up for your analysis. That's it for this tour and I will see you on some other videos.